first of all, I'm very sad that this child died. But when I first saw you in there, I knew something was wrong. You know something is wrong. No, sir, I don't. You know something is wrong. No, sir, I don't. If I bring you all those pictures, if I beat you half to death, like that little child was beat, I bet you you'd die too. So I did not beat my daughter, sir. No? I'm not that cruel to my children. What are all those bruises on your little child? The thing is that I got a mom, you can clearly see here, doesn't know who did that. It wasn't me. I didn't cause her death. Melissa, my name is Victor Escalante. Basically, what they were doing is they were trying to make me admit that I was the one responsible for her fall. And I kept telling them that I hadn't, that I hadn't hurt my daughter, and they were very vulgar, very, very rough, very um, persistent. They wanted me to admit to something that I was not capable of doing to my child. And um, the interrogation continued for maybe six, six, seven hours until three o'clock in the morning. This is your chance to set it straight. Because right now it looks like capital murder. Right now it looks like you're a cold-blooded killer. Now, are you a cold-blooded killer? No, I'm not. Or were you a frustrated mother who just took it out on her? We know somebody did it. We're trying to find out who did it. If it wasn't you, I don't think somebody crept in there at the middle of the middle, middle of the night and went up to your child and specifically singled her out so he could bite her on the back. It happens. Okay. We all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. We all get upset. We already know what happened. We already know what happened. They just kept pointing fingers at me and threatening me and telling me that I was going to spend the rest of my life in prison and that I wasn't going to be able to see the rest of my children grow up and get married. And, you know, they just kept throwing so many words at me. And I just told them I, I'm responsible for Mariah's bruises. They wanted to hear something. I mean, I was not going to admit to causing her death because I wasn't responsible In the end, they left the room, the detectives, there was three detectives and the ranger, they left the room and they left me in the, in the interrogation room by myself. And uh, I could hear them out in the hallway deciding what to charge me with. If they should charge me with injury to a child or capital murder or they couldn't decide. Okay, so you want to hold it like that? Yeah, I can hold it like this. Are you better that way? Uh, yeah, because I guess we're going to be yeah. moving around, so. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. Say one. Go. Melissa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Today's date is 2-18-2007. It is 3 a.m. We are here at the Harlingen Police Department. I am here with Melissa Lucio. My name is Victor Escalon with the Texas Rangers. I am also in this room is Officer Harlingen Police Detective Javier Villarreal. Show, lay her down and show me how you would spank her. But it was it like, was it one time or was it several times? Several times. Show me how. But show me the same force you would use. With your right or left hand? Left, right hand. Would you be standing up or sitting down? Both. Which, yeah. how, how would you do it when you're sitting down? Show me how you would do it. But, I mean, the way you actually did it. You just get it over. Oh, I just spanked her real hard on her back. Well, do it real hard like you, like you would do it. Like the way you would do it. That's the way I would do it. I mean, I wouldn't pound on her. But... Mm -hmm. Or do it. You thought. Was it harder? No. Because I just... I, I don't do it hard. Well, okay, that, you're doing it on yourself. This is... I mean, I wasn't pounding on her. Right Show me exactly right. how you would do it like this. Yes. Okay. And this is just what? Spanking? Yeah. 
you hit it with a stick, mm -mm. you use anything. Mm -mm. How do you feel when you see these pictures? What's going through your head? I wish it was me, but it better. Is there anything else you want to add? Okay. Listen, it's 3.15 a.m. and that will end the interview.